This is the infamous chronology in three minutes. Let's begin. Through the process of natural evolution, humans develop a special gene called the conduit. It allows people to manipulate the physical world around them, granting superpowers. The gene is rare, and some people don't even discover their powers, regardless of the gene being present in his or her genetic code. Cole McGrath, just a regular dude, discovers he has the ability to manipulate electricity, but doesn't do much with it. The world is under attack by a colossal monster called the Beast. It wipes out massive amounts of life extremely quickly. Cole attempts to flee with his family, fails, and his family dies. Cole learns to use his power to travel to an alternate timeline, take on the alias Kessler, and take command of a criminal organization called the First Sons. He plans to make his past self strong enough to face the Beast upon its inevitable arrival. To do this, Kessler uses the resources of the First Sons to construct the Ray Sphere. The Ray Sphere is used to activate the hidden potential of a person with the conduit gene. During the experimentation, John White, an undercover NSA agent, discovers the Ray Sphere contains extreme destructive potential. Kessler, in order to activate Cole's conduit, gives the Ray Sphere to this timeline's version of Cole McGrath, a bike messenger. John, excited the NSA has actually found something, goes after Cole to get the Ray Sphere, but Cole opens the Ray Sphere packaging, causing an enormous explosion. Cole's conduit gene is activated, along with hundreds of others, a mass superpower awakening. This also causes the Ray Field Plague, a fatal sickness caused by the explosion. The sickness infects only non-conduits. The city is quarantined to prevent the plague from spreading. Cole escapes from the explosion, but John retrieves the Ray Sphere and goes into hiding. Cole finds John, and John explains that the Ray Sphere was stolen from him, and he only wants what is best for everyone. He offers to help solve everything with Cole. Cole, now trusting of John, continues to try and find the Ray Sphere alongside John. Cole finds continuous opposition by Kessler and the First Sons, who continue to antagonize him during his search, presumably so he'll become stronger from the experience to be ready for the coming doom that he doesn't know about yet. Cole and John find the Ray Sphere and destroy it, opening a big vortex that sucks in John. Destroying his body completely, his consciousness survives and is transformed into the Beast, but he doesn't show up right away. Cole tracks down and fights Kessler and wins, to which Kessler reveals his plan to stop the Beast. Cole, amongst his efforts to prepare against the Beast, obtains a weapon called the Ray Field Inhibitor, which, if powered properly, will kill every conduit ever, but also cure the plague. In the meantime, the Beast materializes and starts killing everyone that isn't a conduit, and activates every conduit's powers. Cole is still too weak to activate the RFI, so he rushes obtaining power. Cole, in a final confrontation with the Beast, activates the RFI, sacrificing himself and almost every other conduit, but saving millions of lives that would have died to the plague. Over time, humans come to fear the surviving conduits and brand them as bioterrorists. An organization called the Department of Unified Protection fights against them. Deslin Rowe, a powerful conduit, leads a revolt and in retaliation destroys the organization. Conduits, at least for now, can live in relative peace without being hunted, although rough discrimination likely continues, and that's Infamous in 3. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, make sure to like it down below. If you want to see more content, be sure to subscribe. I got a question for you guys. If you could pick any superpower, which one would you pick? Mine would be to die. Thank you